Okay, so um, that video brings back memories over the past weekend. Will Smith has been on the lips of everybody again for the wrong reasons, actually. So um, her best, his best friend, supposed best friend, because I don't know if they are friends anymore, uh, was having an interview. Um, they say podcast, then go spoil everywhere. In this last, world, last right? World. Yeah. But it was, it was having, it was his personal assistant as well. But I mean, it also said he was his best friend over time, over the years. So he had an interview and he was talking about Will Smith. And he first said, Will Smith has a very small, you know, reproductive organ. Anyways, and he says, one of the reasons why Jada doesn't respect him is probably because of that, because she's used to the, anyways. Now fast forward to... Other gist, he now said that one day he walked in on Will Smith and Dwayne. They were they were murdering Will Smith from behind. Okay. If, if that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> but yesterday I saw that they were going after Jade and they were like, ah, what do you have to say about it? Yeah. We saw him! We're so <laughs> And then she entered the car. And I'm like, okay, uh, we're going to just wait for this. And I really wish that everybody can actually sue to on everything that, you know, Jada Tu mm. has ever said, especially with, mm. you know, saying that somebody, well, perhaps this one, there is evidence because, you know, but the, mm -hmm. the one that I'm still waiting on is mm. Chris Rock mm. calling her and asking her out because mm -hmm. I'm like, if you're going to be suing for that, <laughs> then when you talk about other people too, I mean, they should sue either. Uh, you know, evidence yeah. is for that too. Yeah. I mean, let's see how that goes. I, I mean, it's it's actually nice to see Jada stand up for Will Smith once, once, once. Like I, I, I say, I like wow, that's I'm Jada. Not saying, I'm wow. not saying so much. We're suing. <laughs> We're suing. <laughs> We're su <laughs> Okay, it's okay. But I mean, if that guy was actually his personal assistant and so called best friend, why would you even come out to say something like that? Okay, about so if they have been making a joke of themselves to everybody and they seem like a jerk to everybody at this point you know you give the people you give people the leeway to say just anything about even perhaps <laughs> it even happened but then you give people the leeway to and maybe they want to write their own books too and it's traumatic yeah, for him to yeah. have what i mean it, it could be traumatic it's just i would never see doing martin and will smith the same i hope Whiskey's picture wins big at the 2023 British Photography Awards. Nigerian music superstar Whiskey won big at this year's British Photography Awards BPA held in London as his picture was showcased by a photographer. Whiskey's performance picture at the Glastonbury Festival was the People's Choice winner of the event category award at the 2023 British Photography Awards. The award-winning picture was taken by London-based freelance photographer and graphic designer Nick Hale. With this, Whiskid has now become the first Nigerian celebrity whose image won a British Photography Award. The British Photography Awards is a multidisciplinary and independent photography competition that is open to all British-based British photographers and sponsored award events at the Savoy. The competition also supports key UK charities as well. Ah, Wizi Babala. Yeah, I just like that mm -hmm. every now and then, you mm -hmm. know, these people are just putting Nigeria on the map. On the map, yeah. And, you know, this is a great fit. I mean, mm -hmm. however you want to look at it, mm -hmm. you know, because I mean, when you're so, big, you're big. You know, there's a certain level on any public figure has to attain that your, your picture would sell. You understand like for for michael jackson's jacket for instance i mean the, 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 for his jacket to sell auction yeah. auction you yeah. know for a certain image of somebody to sell it means you have attained a certain level That's of right. uh stardom ship mm. of of, mm. of you know like it's big it's major and being the first nigerian first african to do that that's big one day we're going to be auctioning whiskey's shoes whiskey's you know how different things that belong to him because he's actually a ch attained a legendary status. Yeah. yeah, congratulations. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we'll go on this break and we will continue with Entertainment Slash when we come. And thank you so much for staying here with us. We continue mm -hmm. with the entertainment news. Yep. Bernard Boy threatens to hire lawyers to sue Nigerian bloggers. Bernard Boy seems to be 
a, a role lately on social media as now. He is contemplating hiring 100 lawyers to sue Nigerian bloggers for defamation. If you would recall, the self-acclaimed African giant had asked online bloggers to come together and settle on a price he should pay them so that they never talk about him again. But for their refusal, he has decided to sue them instead. He said it would have sponsored a series of legal battles against Nigerian bloggers with the money, but is being considerate because he knows they, the bloggers, are trying to make ends meet. He further queried why Nigerian bloggers are hell-bent on pitching him to the wall, noting that it would hurt him to drag the platform in that manner. Taken to his ex-handle, Bernie Boy wrote in Pigeon, that money where I won't give them. Insta blog, that time, it be like saying not to give like 100 lawyers now. But I know, say, now hustle everybody, they hustle. So it go pay me if I run that kind of thing. Why would not they push me now? Nah? Oh. To be honest, <laughs> I, I, I just feel like he's probably just catching clues. To yeah, be in fact, yeah, my thoughts. Probably, he's probably just catching clues because guess what? They can't never stop talking about you. You're brother boy. Like, you're on the international scene. You're there. Like, you're, you're made. You're brother boy. So we can't I think I about understand you. what he's talking about. So mm -hmm. it is one thing for them to talk about you and talk about the fact. Mm -hmm. And it's another thing for them to talk about you when they really want people to, uh, you know, uh, read their blogs, yeah, yeah. watch their videos, yeah. and all of those. Like, lately... Uh, there was one video about, um, it was um, Governor Adelike and Onu of Ife. Mm -hmm. And there was a short clip that was posted before then, and it was assumed that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, he snobbed, uh, he snobbed yeah. that is, Dr. Um, Governor Adelike snobbed the Oni, the Oni of yeah. Ife. And then the full video was posted later on, and mm -hmm. what actually happened, you know, was out there. Mm -hmm. And this is how people have been doing it. It's about the context that these bloggers, you know, mm -hmm. put things out that mm -hmm. people don't like. Mm -hmm. So they push certain narratives, mm -hmm. and you just wake up and you're pinching yourself. Can this be true? Is this me? Is this my story? I mean, in, in such situations, uh, we've seen this played out many times on the international scene. In the U.S., people have sued... TMZ, for instance, mm. many times. Mm. So you just have to make an example of one person. Take one person. You get. Make an example of, and then everybody else will be careful with the narrative that they want to set about you. So the thing is, usually in media, in traditional media, when you want to get put out news about somebody, even if it's negative or it's positive, mm -hmm. it's usually right to reach out to the camp of that person, if you don't have the person's number, reach out to them and say, oh, please, I would like to publish this about you. I would like to hear your own feedback. What do you say? But I mean, in social media now, everybody now is a blogger on social media. That's, that's the new Until, age. Yeah. Because people have started cooling their heels too, because I can remember that in your lab, I must, uh, you know, uh, send somebody to cool her heels in mm -hmm, jail. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. she came back and she was mm -hmm. still talking. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that people have learned anything from it, especially with the fact that this morning I was talking to somebody about some certain things I saw on, uh, you know, um, Instagram today. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lecturer in OAU slumped and passed on. And then I read the comment section and I saw somebody saying stuff like, ah, you don't hit thunderbolt, I'll be something. And I'm like, how careless. Wow. How careless. So ah. people just open their mouth and they say, they feel like we're hiding behind uh, the key, key well, parts. I mean, in the context at which Bonoboy tweeted this, this was mm -hmm. after Instablog posted a picture of uh, Rema because Rema had given, you know, before he went on stage, he gave thanks to Bonoboy yeah. for bringing him on stage yeah. a few years ago. And uh, so the caption was, uh, uh, Rema thanks fellow new cat, Bonner boy, for bringing him on stage. <laughs> so, I don't know how the, what the context of the suing is going to be, but is it, is it debunking the fact that it's a new cat or is it an old cat? Perhaps it's not just this one. I think it's an accumulator thing. Accumulation. Yes, I think all so. Right, I all think right, so. all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the news. On the news, R. Kelly sues U.S. prison officials for leaking his personal information. American singer Al Kelly, who is serving a prison sentence for child sex crimes, has claimed that federal prison officials leaked a bunch of his private information to an internet blogger who made it public. 
The Mbatu singer has now filed a lawsuit against the U.S. Bureau of Prisons and YouTube gossip blogger Tasha K for illegally accessing his personal records, which includes phone calls, emails, visitor logs, payment info, and out of his commissary account more than 150 times over six-month period while he was in Chicago's federal lockup. On November 13, 2019, the, the officer allegedly emailed herself Kelly's records, some of which include the singer's emails that were later shared by Tasha K, which is, the suspect might have been done for cash. In a video Tasha K shared, the blogger claimed, and I quote, there's a phone tapped somewhere and I'm not going to tell you where it's at, end quote. The officer who retired in December 2019 has not been charged as of the time of filing this report. Our clearly claims the info allowed Tasha, who has a big YouTube following, to publish on flattering pieces about him, which he says has hurt his representation, invaded his privacy, and caused him undue emotional distress. He also stated that the U.S. government was negligent in allowing its prison personnel to allegedly access and share this information and now is asking for major damages. This news is coming amid our Kelly's trial on charges that he led a criminal endeavor to recruit girls and young women for sexual activities. Since being convicted in his Chicago case, he has been moved to a federal facility in North Carolina where he's serving his lengthy sentence. If you will recall, Tasha K is the same woman Cardi B successfully sued for defamation. <laughs> just after we just finished Bona Boys, you know. Yes, so, about these people mm -hmm. and then, you mm -hmm. know, we were talking about um, Tasha K. Mm -hmm. And I think that this one is just a stubborn. Mm -hmm. And she's not going to learn our lessons even mm -hmm. with this. Because mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. after Cardi B sued her, she was still shouting, oh, she does not mm -hmm. have money. Oh, you don't mm -hmm. have money. And you were saying that. And, and you were talking about, you know, people in that manner. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's funny the lens people would go mm. to get news, social media mm. validation, to put out stuff about people. I mean, this... Well, it's not just, I mean, age of social media. He's been there for a long time, you know. The old Only places. that they were not empowered. Yeah, they were not empowered. <laughs> you know, paparazzis and all that. Now, you just have to put something on, on, on Twitter, yeah. on X, and then boom, you have your click. You know, it's clickbait Bait, and all that yeah. stuff. So, um, if this is true, then she deserves to be sued. Yeah. Yeah, she deserves to be sued. But like they said, she's not been charged yet, you know, as a time of this filing. But, um... Well, I think, you know, Al Kelly has a lot of pent-up anger in him, so he's going to use this to, you know, to release his anger. But well, yeah, I mean, very, very, So very I nice. think it's not just right. If you want to do your job and do your job well, mm -hmm. like look for the facts, do your job well. What mm -hmm. about the clickbait? And then you're known for somebody who's always just looking for, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, stories about people that you mm -hmm. shouldn't put out there. Mm -hmm. And you think that that can go on for long? Honestly, if this is true, she's in for a long ride because even, even the federal institutions, even um, the CIAs and mm. the FBIs, I mean, it's alleged that they have information, private information of people, but they cannot do anything about it until you want to, until they catch you in the act of, you know, committing a crime. So she went ahead to dig into somebody's, you don't have any warrants to do that. You don't have, you're not even a federal agent mm -hmm. of any sort. And you went in to start digging into somebody and then, you know, putting it out there is definitely totally wrong. I mean, if they actually investigate further as to the source as, you know, where this information was gotten from, I'm sure that they will definitely get to the root of it all. Yeah. All right. It's time to hit the rewind button as we take a look back on this day in entertainment history. I did, I did perform. Thank you for performing. <laughs> this song brings a lot of memories. So, ah, you're still <laughs> telling me about your ex. No, no, let me just tell you this story. It's X, is X. <laughs> so in secondary school, I used to use this song. I used this song to toast babes in secondary school. And you know, I was all ah, tiny. And I did dance that year. So I can't do breakdown. I can't give one. Ah, that that X should not come year. back and be bestial because I've been reading some really, really, really funny stories about besties these days. <laughs> besties that will be struggling with girlfriends. You know, for the guy, and they're saying, he's my bestie, you know, he's my bestie. We've known each other for long. 
and uh, they will not allow girlfriend drink water drop cup. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah. I will eat anybody you. You. I will, I will, <laughs> hey. I will bite. <laughs> Is your name Clifford? I don't. I, I don't care. Because you, you look like OG. You can be Cli Clifford dress. <laughs> I don't care. All right. All right. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for social view. So be prepared to have a good time as we will be looking at some crazy moments from the world of social media. Lady, are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's do this. All right. All right. First off. Aha, uh -huh, the Mem King means, makes an appearance and he says, Me and my babe just they view each other status since morning. Relationship no hard. Now you they find attention. <laughs> <laughs> but does this happen to you? That. Like you just sit down, you just go to your babe's page and just be viewing her picture. <laughs> be my. Don't, okay. don't you come to my page? Yes, and I will just be admiring you. Like, because sometimes I do not say I get a headache. I found a reason. See, wait till but more than that, I admire myself. I can be on my Instagram yes, page. I on. posted Let's... it too, but I'll okay, be on. So... <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Next up, uh, Comer says, <laughs> Uncle Two Triplet. Huh? Well, uh... Okay, says, Short girls after a little misunderstanding. Come and open your door. I want to go. Short girls? <laughs> So I wish I wish there was not a short girl that we can use to catch that screw. It's like, come on, open your door. And and person will be looking like one. Okay. It looks like, on, come, come, looks come, like something that Dukwe does. But well, Dukwe is not short. <laughs> Dukwe is not short. <laughs> <laughs> She's not short. All right, all right. But wait, why do they have anger issues? Is it because they are it's close Napoleon, to the ground? It's Napoleon uh, syndrome. <laughs> yeah. I learned that, you know, so there is that thing about you always just have it in your head that, um, you know, you're short and people will take you for granted. So because of you. that, yes, because of that, every little thing, you get angry. Well, I like you when they're angry because they're always looking up and shouting and jumping. Right, moving on. <laughs> so there's a chat and the chat says, Oga, your food don't finish. The Oga replies and he says, open gates for them, make them enter street. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. That reminds me of a video I saw yesterday. Did you see that video of a veterinary doctor who uh, was injecting mm. a dog? And <laughs> the dog just, after, the dog was just so angry that the dog just, uh, uh, what's it called now? Uh, removed itself from the whole thing and then said, and the owner was, run, run, run. And I'm like, if I was that doctor, yeah. I was going to be angry afterwards. Yeah. I came to treat your dog. You are mm. the owner of the dog. Yeah. You, and then you're not because for for the owner of the dog to tell you to run. No, but it happens a lot of times. No, for but for the owner to tell you that you should run. You know, normally they will say, "I ah, know he can't bite Is you." Is it okay that the owner said run? That run. Is it not okay. <laughs> no, this happened. It has happened to me. You know, because I grew yeah. up with dogs. It has happened not to me personally. To you know, my dogs are done to people. So you told people to run. N no, we, you could not we, caution your guy, dog. The do it, so this guy. Electrician, he always just walks into the compound anyhow. Oh, oh, know, oh, oh. So that one you meant, in. you meant the electrician. So one day he just strode in like that, and I don't know why. He just said something to my dog, Nancy. Said, not a seaman, Nancy. So <laughs> <laughs> he said something to my dog, and I don't know why this dog just got angry and just started chasing him. So my dad was driving out of the compound. He just jumped on the roof of the car, and he was shouting, Egg by me, Egg by me. <laughs> So every time we see him now, we just shout, Egg Bamio, Egg Bamio. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, it was just something. So yeah, I understand it. I understand it. That was not right. supposed to happen to that. <laughs> 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 All right, so um, another one here. And uh, Mem King makes another appearance. And he says, January to December, 365 mm. days. December to January, 31 days. Something is wrong. <laughs> Wait, something <laughs> is wrong. <laughs> Because what's going on? So, this is how overthinking affects, because what is your business? Leave it the way it is. What are you trying to dissect Baba, and don't, analyze? You don't, you don't spend the money Because for what? Something is really, really wrong. But it's always too short. It's, it's yeah, too something short. is really, really wrong. You should make it longer. 
All right, so another one here. Maurice Baker says, my babe just used broom measure my leg. This Christmas, what? Yes, Christmas shoes. And that's true. You're Thank looking you. at my leg. Yes, and you know what? I mean, I mean, I'm not even capping right now. So j was asking me, you know, the size of my shoes. He knew before, but he just wanted to. So I'm just so sure that Christmas dress, Christmas shoe is guaranteed. It's Thank you, my love, it's, in advance. It's okay, it's okay. No, it's just... <laughs> because if you don't do it, you know. It was the other way around, though. I looked the shoe. I said, I shoe fit fits me. That's what I was asking. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. And I know that you are a Calabar boy and you guys, I learned. Don't sue me, but I learned that you guys usually have small feet. Small? No, it's the other way. You heard wrong. Wow! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have from the world of social media today. On Social View, we'll be back with our guest. So, yes, our shoes. Are <laughs> yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for staying here with us. I'm super excited about this particular one. After breaking into the music scene with the hit song, More Like Jesugon, our guest this afternoon went into our just leaving little or no information on the happenings in his life. He's back now, though, with another amazing song, Ladies and Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome to the show this afternoon, Dekla Fuji! <laughs> Good to have you here, bro. Thank you. Same here. I'm happy to be here. Good to see you, bro. Same here. You look nice so good, man. Well, thank God for people that cares about me. <laughs> <laughs> I told a friend of mine I, I would be uh, a guest on the show. And we're like, oh, I should, let me give you some outfit, something to wear. Like, oh, oh, fantastic! Oh, and Kola nice. Kudu said, take this. Nice. You look so good. Thank I you. love the colors. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And uh, we always have, uh, you know, rewind here where we mm. talk about, you mm. know, um, artists. Okay. You know, we throw it back, and mm. we're talking about where are they now? Mm. And in one of those uh, episodes, we've had we have had to talk. You. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. It, you guys spoke about me behind me, right? Yes, you. Yes, you. <laughs> and we so did. we are we are glad that you're here today, and so we are talking about you. Yeah. So uh, I was wondering what was uh, the matter? Why uh, we did not hear from you? Is it the case of Nigeria? Is it the case of people thinking that you know maybe music are no longer doing for them? And I started reading up like what's happening, and I saw that you left Nigeria. And you even stopped music at the point, and we're talking about losing your memory too. Like a lot of things happened during the hiatus. I mean, from 2007 when you dropped the Mulai Jesu Go, and it's almost like we did not hear anything again. So you want to tell us about that journey? Uh, thank you so much for not, you know, because a lot of people assume a lot, especially in this part of the world. Uh, it's not that easy to keep up. Where especially when something is really good, people expect more from you. And don't forget that once you start doing well, you have more enemies and you have more friends. So it's, at times it's hard to separate them and you, you carry everybody along. So it's difficult to know who to drop and who not to drop. Mm -hmm. But I like to put it past behind me. I talk about right now, uh, I'm back. It's the most important thing. And I'm glad to have a second chance. Because somebody called me yesterday, and the person said, ah, are you in town? I said, yes. Why are you calling me on uh, Instagram? Uh, well, like, I don't have your number. Like, I just saw one of your new videos, and I love it. Good job. Where are you? See, that uh, alone oh, yeah. has a way of pushing me further. Mm. So right now, I don't focus more on negativity. I don't have time. I'm grown. Now, that was then, this is now. Yeah. And in my new song, I said, where, where I was yesterday is not where I am today. So let's let yesterday go so that we can talk about today. And honestly, uh, there is no way you can leave music if music is in you. It will always come once in a while. So right now, I have a new single title, Muadupe, and that says it all. I'm just grateful. I don't want to talk much. I just want to thank God. Yeah. I don't want to say too much. All I want to say is thank you, God, for giving me opportunity. another opportunity to be back. Yeah. And I'm so happy to be back and 
to see you guys holding on. Yeah. Thank God yeah. that when some of us we left, you guys, you were still here, yeah. standing, kicking, and doing a good job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I mean, over time, I mean, recently, we've seen events where the young artists in Nigeria go through so much. I mean, we've had people who have passed on recently. Mm. Um, we've also had cases of exhaustion. I mean, um, uh, Tenny was about to is about to release her album, and she talked about what she had to go through. Um, surgery, health mm. conditions, exhaustion, and all that stuff is something that happens regularly in the industry. Mm. I mean, you've also had your own case of um, health issues. Do you want to speak about that? See, I tell people, no, be careful of what you eat or what you take. Be, don't do things because people are doing it. Because I remember one time, you know, when you go through depression, people don't even know you are going. Some people are depressed, but they, they are not even yeah. aware. Mm. And a lot of us, we are, we are not sure who to talk to. Because before you say Jack Robinson, your story is all over the place. Yeah. And if a story is not well managed, it can actually become, uh, a, 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 a make the situation worse. worse yeah. See, for me, like the Bible said, I always like to encourage myself and the Lord. I said to people, do not isolate yourself. Have good people around you. Your good doubt, those people will be the ones to actually watch you and tell you, oh boy, you can't do this. For me, I've seen, I lost a friend in the state. I never thought this guy does anything stupid. Mm. But when they found him unconscious, mm -hmm. and we tried to like revive him, and I'm like, how come you were doing this all these years and I didn't know? See, forget about how good people are looking. Mm -hmm. There is something they are masking. Mm -hmm. And you have to be there. They have to be able to trust you. Mm -hmm. They have to be able to, like, uh, open up to you before they can actually tell you what exactly they are going through. Yeah. So for me, I have few people around me that I trust. Yeah. And, you know, so if I'm going through this, I call them, I reach out to them. This is it. Uh, because I've been there. I was at the bottom pit where... People did. I did not even know what I was going through. Mm. One day, a lady just called me from Switzerland. I've been looking for you. God said I should look for you. And when she came to the state, she actually looked for me. And she said, what's been going on with you? Do you know that I was just living? I was not, I was not aware of so many things around me. I changed my name from Dekunle Fuji to Michael Crown Smith. Because I just needed to stay away from people so nobody could reach me. Mm. After meeting this lady and she, she prayed for me, she told me certain things. That was like an eye opener. And she kept on, as in, every day she would check up on me what's going on, what's going on. So you need more people like that like around you, around especially God fearing people. Yeah. Not people that would take, because everybody wants to train. Mm -hmm. Some people, your, 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 what you are going through, it's like uh, something they... News for them news to for train, them to interesting. Train. Yeah. So you yeah. just need, you know, you need to be careful. And when I see guys trying to, like, why are you trying to be high? If you're high, you will come to move back. So why don't you just forget about being high and face your situation? Yeah. That's a very yeah. long, I mean, it's a very large topic to yeah. talk about. Yeah. So now let's talk about your new work, Mwadupe, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. with Kobams. Kobams. Kobams, right. Yeah. Are you, first, are you back in Nigeria, like, fully, or you just came to promote this song? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and in the United States, if you stay in a place for more than 30 days, yeah. that means you live there. Okay, so... I've been here for more than 30 days. So that means you leave here. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So now let's talk about the work. Um, why did you choose to work with Kobams, uh, considering the fact that you've worked with Kobams in the past? And uh, why this one? If you try someone's food and the food is good, <laughs> you, nobody would, you will not need anybody to tell you that. Try it again. See, I know Kobams very well. Yeah. And when you explain a song to Kobams, the way he will interpret it, mm. it's why, that's one of the reasons why I love that. Kobams will mix, you will not need to remix again. Mm -hmm. His mixing is, forget it, cryptsy. So I like, I've worked with him before, I know what he can do, I know what he's capable of doing. So I, I, I'm sticking to 
uh, a tested, you know, when you a go tested, to trusted, yeah, yeah. tested and trusted. If you go to uh, some market to buy electron, they will say non tested and tested. <laughs> yes, so you are sticking so, to yeah, I'm sticking to the trusted <laughs> and, <laughs> tested. Yeah, and tested. So let me, uh, this one, this Kobami is trusted and trusted. So I'm sticking to him. So why should we listen to Muadukwe? Uh, okay. When you hear a title of a movie, yeah. you know if you were going to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> when you hear a title of a song, you are asking like, it's just like what I said, yeah, yeah. And you know, it's always good to to, to give thanks mm. because when Tom Adeba Dukpe or no Agba Misi, if a child knows how to appreciate the parent and say thank you, mm. they will always think of him all the time. Okay. Um. Um. I, I love the branding. The rebranding is on point. You look thank like. There's this American actor I'm trying to remember. You, you look like him right now. Like, you're so fresh. Uh, the rebranding, the video looks amazing. <laughs> My like, head is it is kata, it is kata. <laughs> okay, so um, I want to ask you, um, and this question is something that I figured out that, I mean, your sound, when you came out with your sound, uh -huh. it was unique. Yeah. It was different yeah. at that time, you know, f fusing Fuji with hip hop, the traditional uh -huh. Yoruba song with uh -huh. hip hop. Uh -huh. And guess what? A lot of sounds now, I kind of spiraled from that. Like, yes, yes. Yes. I mean, you listen to uh -huh. Coca, you listen to even Ashake. I mean, some sounds have come out. People have realized that they can actually mix uh -huh. both worlds uh -huh. together. Uh -huh. Do you, at any point, take credit for being the creator of this movement? Well, I remember like few people actually spoke to me. Like Mike Abdul told me, I wanted to do it, but I didn't know how to go about it. Oh, wow. But the day I saw you, I knew that this is out. Yeah, this I is get how to it. go. See, uh, I was criticized. I was crucified because I. You were just hyper. No, because I, bringing Fuji into the church. Yes. A lot of people kicked against it, mm. but now they've come to understand. It's you know, I've been a bee. Mm. You can't compare it with ability. Mm. When something is what you have been given to. Talent and gifts are different, two different things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gift is divine. Mm -hmm, Talent mm -hmm. is something you have mastered. So and you can't compare when mm -hmm. the God when God is on with, with you. And I always tell people, be careful of what you say. Mm -hmm. I've been saying it to a lot of people. I'm changing gospel music. Like one of our fathers recently said, Emilio Kong. Mm -hmm. Everybody was laughing. What happened to him? Mm -hmm. Yes, well, he now he, he, he took over. So I always tell people, believe mm -hmm. in yourself and mm -hmm. say it out. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of time. It's going to happen. I mean, what you just said, you've just defined the difference between Messi and Ronaldo. Yes, talent yes. And <laughs> talent and gifts. All Thank right. you I so mean, much. I mean, it's yeah, throwback. Yeah. It's throwback Thursday. We would you know, love to play Mawad Dupe, but because it's throwback, uh -huh. we're going to throw it back. To, to where it started from. Okay. All right. Well, but thank you. There. Thank you for <laughs> thank being you. on the show. Thank you thank so you much. Indeed. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're done with the show today. We've had the legendary Dekule Fuji in the beauty with us and the well, beautiful Honey Shmoney. <laughs> and let's check out the video that brought this amazing man to our screens. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had fun. Have an amazing Dekule. day ahead. We love you guys.